Hello, today I'm going to show you how to factorize a simple polynomial. So today the polynomial we're going to be working with is x squared plus x minus 6. Okay, so we want to turn, we want to change x squared plus x minus 6 into something in the form of x plus a times x plus b. Okay. So, first of all, let's see what x plus a times x plus b actually is. So, if you were to find this out, you would find that x plus a times x plus b is x squared plus bx plus ax plus ab. And then right here we have bx and ax. They are both terms with x in them, so we can change that into b plus a times x, or we can do it in the other order, a plus b times x. So x squared plus a plus b times x plus a b. Okay, so now that we have found this right here, we can see that these two form, these two, this polynomial x squared plus x minus 6 um, closely resembles x squared plus a plus b times x plus a b. So let's compare the different parts of um, these two things. So here we have an x squared. We have an x squared right here. Here we have an a plus b times x. Here we have a 1 times x. So we can say that a plus b in this case equals 1. So a plus b equals 1. And then here we have an a times b, which in this case is negative 6. So a times b equal negative 6. Okay, so before we can do anything, what we have to do is find all the possibilities that make a times b equal to negative 6. So we have a and b. Okay, so it could be negative 1 and 6. It could be 1 and 6. It could be um, 2 and 3, negative 3 or it could be negative 2 and 3. Okay, so let's see. We know that all of these pairs of a and b will be equal to um, negative 6 when multiplied together, but there's only one pair here that when added will make 1. So let's see. Negative 1 plus 6, no, that is 5. Okay. 1 plus 6, no, 7. I mean, negative, yes. 1 plus negative 6, no. 2 plus minus 3, 2 minus 3, negative 1, no. Negative 2 plus 3, yes, that is 1. So we know that our a equals negative 2 and that our b equals 3. So now using this formula we can say that x squared plus x minus 6 does indeed equal x plus a times x plus b. Now we can plug in our a and our b and we can say that x squared plus x minus 6 equal x plus uh, minus 2 which is the same thing as x minus 2 times x plus 3. And there you go. We have factorized x squared plus x minus 6.